Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to be here today. And I want to say thank you for sharing with me your most precious asset, your time. And I'm going to start with asking you a very tough question. So be ready to think. Who here wants to be successful? Could you just raise your hand? Yeah. I mean, if you don't raise your hand, I don't know what's wrong with you. We all want to be successful. The problem is that we want to be successful now and do the things that lead to success later or never. So we don't do anything. <laughs> there was a time when I wanted to be fit. I didn't want to work out. I wanted to be healthy. I didn't want to pay attention to my food. I want to be successful. I didn't want to do the thing that leads to success. But <laughs> so I did like everybody else. I complained. <laughs> But what's the point of wishing for things to be different and not doing anything about it? Einstein said, if you do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, it's insanity. And then he was right. Life is too short. Life is too short, and I learned it the hard way. I want to share with you a moment I will never forget. It was in Indonesia in September 2018. I was there for a paragliding competition. And I was in the island of Palu, I mean, of Sulawesi, in the little city of Palu, beautiful tropical paradise. That was just amazing. I had a great flight that day. I had good score. I was super happy. I was going back to my hotel right on the coast in front of the sea. That was just amazing. And I decided to get out with my friend and go grab some food in the city. And we went out of the hotel and maybe 50 meters further, the ground suddenly started shaking. I was this deep nows coming from so deep within. I could not stand anymore. I was just on the ground. I was falling. I was there. I could not stand up. A second before, my friend was above me and I was above him. We were just moving. That was insane. Suddenly, I hear this sound, like deafening sound behind me. I turn back in a, dust of of, in a cloud of dust. I just realized that the hotel behind just collapsed. I wanted to throw up. I was horrified. Just a few seconds before, I was still waving goodbye to the receptionist. And now I see this pile of debris. With my friend, we run back to the hotel thinking, we need to help people. We need to see if it's possible to do something. There we tried to see something. And I see on the fifth floor, there was a little girl. She was trapped in metallic bars, barely touching anything. She was like floating in the middle of nowhere. I looked at her and damn, she, there was so much fear and confusion in her eyes. My friend wanted to do a step forward to climb there and I caught him by the shoulder. The hotel was still collapsing. A huge block of concrete just fell from the roof. We were looking at it, but we could not just not do anything. We had to go, but I would be stupid to just die just there in front of her and not being able to help anyone. So we decided to take a chance. We climbed on the debris of the hotel. We reached this little girl on, from the fifth floor. With my friend, we helped to remove the metallic bars where she was trapped in. I took her in my arms and I was like, when I turned, I saw two feet, a lot of blood, and a woman was yelling. That was the mother. She was trapped underneath the debris of the hotel in the room. I was there. I told my friend, look, I'm going to put this little girl safely somewhere, and I come back to help you free the mother from this big block of concrete. I'm climbing down the debris of the hotel with the little girl in my arms. I turned back, and I'm looking for a place where nothing can collapse. And when I turned, I saw it in the horizon. Now, I've never seen that before. There was this black line. I knew what it was. A tsunami was coming. I turned back to my friend to say, take shelter, there's a tsunami coming. Are you funny? We were trapped between a collapsing building and a tsunami. We were right on the, on the beach. Nowhere to go. I'm looking around like, where am I going to do? And I see a tree. And I decide to run for the tree. I go to the tree. I throw the little girl up in the tree. I climb myself and I hold the trunk in one arm. The other arm, the little girl, really as strong as I can. There, the wave is coming faster and faster. She looked at me in the eyes. She was so scared. And I told her, it's going to be okay. In my mind, I'm like, you liar. I thought I would die. The wave is 50 meters, 30 meters away. It comes, it crashes on everything above us. It crashes on my legs like a truck hitting us. But we're still in the tree. I'm there. We're still alive. We're still here. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a very painful memory. But although it was a really traumatic experience, it did change my life for the better. There is something I learned. There are two truths. 
we all gonna die. Sorry. Nobody knows when. Creepy. Now, I don't want to be scary. This is just how it is. The problem is that we tend to live with the illusion of time, postponing our best life for later. But based on what? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So let me ask you, if you had one year to live, who would you be? Which places would you go to? With who would you spend your time? Now, what if you had one week? And what if you had just one day? And if you think, you know what? Yeah, okay, but I cannot relate to that. I mean, the tsunami, I think it's never going to happen to me. So did I. But three years ago, I had this powerful reminder. And I know I'm not the only one. I'm sure if you already had a needed experience, you did change something in your life because you got the notification, this reminder saying like, hey, time to live now and focus on what really matters. I believe that we can all stop living with the illusion of time and start becoming who we're meant to be. And stop giving away your power to the status quo. I'm not going to die with a to-do list. What about you? There are two ways to live your life. You can either try to minimize the struggle or to maximize your life experience. The thing is that most of people trying to go through life minimizing the struggle, having the least pain and suffering as possible. I don't play that game. Life is way too short. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And basically, I know what you all want. Can you type in the chat what everybody in the world wants? The number one thing? Can you think of that? What do you think it is? Love? Love? Yeah. I'm going to make it easy for you guys. Just one word. More. We all want more. More love, more passion, more time, more meaning, more success, more money, more sex. But to have more, we have to be more, more committed, more passionate, more intentional. We have to show up as your best. Look, if you want to live a better life, you got to be better at life. Life is too short to not make the most out of it. What's the point of being here if it's not to create joy and share it with each other? You don't know how the future is going to unfold. So it is your mission to live every single day to the fullest and die with no regrets. That being tomorrow at 100 years old. It's a choice you can make. It is a choice that you should make. You don't need to wait for a traumatic experience. Today, I am a reminder. Today, I am here to remind you to not wait to live your best life. So are you ready? And if you are, let's have a conversation. Because this is what I do. I help people showing up as their best and becoming high-performance leaders. So stop living with the illusion of time. Don't wait to be at the end and see your life flashing by in front of your eyes and be like, oh shit, be bold, play big.